Yo, what's up? Today I'll teach you how to make your figures look less stiff and look more dynamic. Before I start giving solutions on how to improve your drawings, we have to understand the problem first. We need to determine why our figures look so stiff and look so unnatural. I'm also going to teach you how to fix these common mistakes that makes your human body drawing look uninteresting and look very flat. So yeah, let's get to it. If you've been paying attention in the video, you can see me drawing a figure in perspective using only cubes and the tubes. For those who don't know, perspective is the most important thing when it comes to drawing anything. So I suggest you to learn perspective now and trust me, this will help you a bunch when learning how to draw in general. So why are we using simple shapes to draw a human body? Well, first of all, we do this to simplify the structure of the body. You see, simple shapes create structure and with structure, we can create a human body proportions. And there you go, that's it. We drew a human body, right? That's perfect. But the thing is, with cubes and tubes, there are limitations to drawing a human body. These shapes make your human figures look very stiff. And I know in the time lapse that I'm drawing anatomy on top of the guidelines, but we're not gonna learn all the muscles today. Today, we're gonna learn about gestures. You might have heard about gesture drawing before, and I'm gonna explain you the main definition of it. It's basically laying in of the form, action, and pose of the human figure. So it's basically using curved fluid lines to create movement in the sketch, which is the complete opposite of drawing cubes and cylinders. If you think about it, the reason why your figures look so stiff when you're drawing them with cubes and cylinders, it's because you're just using straight lines. There are no curved lines in your sketch. And that's why I'm drawing another example of just me using round shapes. I'm not using cubes or cylinders in this drawing. I'm purely just using spheres and curved lines, which is, by the way, so fun to do because not only you're drawing fluid lines when you're drawing the figure, it also makes the process very fluid, if that makes sense. Like it forces you to draw faster in a good way, but it also just make you less think about the construction of the body since you're only thinking about the fluid movement of the gesture. So anyway, why is gesture so important when drawing a human body? Well, gesture simply makes your figure look more natural and more dynamic. That's it. However, with gesture alone, you cannot make a natural human body. And you know, it's the same with using simple shapes such as cubes and cylinders. And that is why we need both. We need the straight lines to create structure and we need the curved lines to create gesture. I'm gonna draw a bunch of examples on how to use curved lines and straight lines in this video, so just watch closely till the end. As you can see, while I'm drawing this torso, on the left side, I'm using a red pencil to create the curved lines and I'm using a blue pencil to create straight lines. I am doing the same with the leg. As you can see, the upper leg, it has a curved line on the left side and a straight line on the right side. So basically, how you can practice gesture is to add curved lines every time you draw a straight line. For example, with this arm, I'm using a straight line on the right side of the forearm and then I use the curved line on the left side of the forearm. And this just makes the sketch look so powerful and dynamic. Like you can feel the character being affected by the gravity. For this example, I'm showing you the same exercise with the curved and straight lines but with a more difficult pose. For this example, the back is curved unlike the first example. Um, 
so I'm putting the straight line on the front side of his body. And since the figure's left leg is folded, I'm using a curved line on the quads to show the stretching of the muscle. I am not thinking of the independent muscles, I'm just thinking of the general form to show the shape of the leg. You won't have to learn all the muscles of the body to do this kind of exercise. This is the kind of exercise I do every day to improve my dynamic figures and to just make them overall better. Anyways, for the arm, I'm using a straight line again for the bicep and a curved line for the tricep. And same with the forearm, a straight and a curved line. Um, just the same thing. And look, I just made a full body pose with just straight lines and curved lines. And of course, when you're doing this type of exercise, you still need to think about forms and structure. That's why I'm still using spheres to show the mass of the figure. I even add lines to show the planes of the body. But yeah, just keep in mind that when you're drawing a soft curved line on one side of the body, you have to add straight line on the other side. This creates balance and dynamism for the figure. And to go even further with this practice, you can erase the guidelines and you can even start putting real anatomy in it, you know. Of course, this type of exercise is much more difficult than the actual practice we're doing right now. So I'm going to make another video about this exercise and make an in-depth tutorial on how I study anatomy. And for this next example, it's fairly simple. I'm just drawing an arm. Um, I'm still using the same exercise, by the way one curved line on the one side and a straight line on the other side as you can see for the bicep i made it a curved line because it's flexing and the tricep is stretching so yeah and same for the forearm stretching and curving just adding one random tip focus on big shapes first before adding details detail is the least important part when it comes to drawing again an example I'm drawing legs for the exercise and as you can see I'm always starting big first I'm using the big simple shapes before adding the details and that's why the finished sketch look okay and look dynamic I'm gonna show in this time-lapse how I add details after putting the basic guidelines first it's this is something I always do by the way and it helps me a lot I always start with torso and the waist since it's the main core of the body I always draw that and it helps me just add the rest of the body parts you know so try doing that maybe that might help you but if it doesn't then too bad as you can see here I'm just using the guidelines and I'm adding simple muscle stuff I'm just adding lines where I usually put my muscles I even added the curved and straight lines for you guys but anyways on the left side it's me just drawing the whole anatomy all the muscles I know the right side is basically what I usually think of before I draw the details first and the detailed drawing is on the left side I'm just adding the last details the shadows and the muscles and the ball so yeah what did we learn today we use simple shapes to create structures and proportions and we use gestures to create flow movement and dynamism into the body this last time lapse is just a bunch of examples i recorded for the end of the video i hope this will help you a bit because this certainly helped me when i first started drawing again i hope you like this improvised ass video i did not script this at all i'm on my bed talking alone it's 8 a.m i haven't slept yet i just got home there's olympics here in paris it's hot i'm dying like the video thanks for watching and before i leave I just want to tell you guys that I have a Patreon and if you guys want to support me and have extra art content, you guys can 
subscribe there i have three tiers there so you can you know you can just support me for a dollar that would be awesome but if you don't have money that's also fine just liking the video and commenting that this video helped it already means a lot to me but yeah patreons link in the description everything in the description goodbye bye bye